going on guys uh, Rex here so I've recently gotten into a uh, issue with my uh, sl my PS4 slim and uh, it started freezing up and stuff and uh, you know acting goofy so I was like all right let me initialize it well initializing didn't work it was still lagging and stuff so I tried to put it in safe mode and uh, update it. And this was this was all like after I first updated my PS4 to I think 8.03 is their newest update. Um, and uh, I tried to update it and it did whatever, and then it just turned off. Like I or like it didn't even fully turn off or something I don't know but uh, then my ps4 would sit there and blink blue light for a while it would lag and it wouldn't even fully turn off unless I held the power button down so I was like alright so then I started looking up videos on how to uh, how to you know update the ps4 you know by doing different ways and uh, I found out doing the USB transfer from your PC to a physical file on the USB to the PS4 is the easiest method possible. Um, and I do suggest it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And I'll talk about that in this uh, video too. This is also like kind of like an awareness video and like some things that people might run into because I couldn't find really any videos that had like an all-in-one like take that would pass by some of the poorly choiced things that I did out of everything that first began the first error message that I got was this one right here CE347880 I got this message because um, the update file that I downloaded on my computer that I was going to put on the USB drive or that I did put on the USB drive didn't work it gave me this message so then I looked it up and it, you know, did this first off to find these update files um, all you really got to do is type in PS4 update and then uh, PlayStation has their own like um, their own page and all you do is click on the PlayStation 1 or if you're already like if you just want to go to PlayStation.com just be safe uh, you drop down the help bar and then go to hardware and then click on the PS4 and then go to PS4 system software and then here they are right here um, you got the update file and then you get the reinstallation file so this file is the file that was not working this they gave me this error code so I moved on I was like, all right whatever so I moved on to this one because I just wiped my ps4 completely like I wanted a fresh start on this peak like on this console I didn't care because I bought a ps4 pro I didn't care about losing any data on this console at all so I heard you had it initialized and everything so if you're really wanting to clean your ps4 out or if it's bugging out and you don't care to lose data or anything or if you have your data saved online then this right here is what you're looking for if you uh, when you install this and if you had the same exact issues as mine um, if you downloaded this one and it didn't do anything it'll be um, when you download them it will say um, they will be titled where's it at right here ps4 update pup that's going to be the file that you want to install see i downloaded one two three i messed up big time like i was tweaking out i wasn't doing stuff right so don't just do it once if it doesn't work then you move on to this one you're going to want this one if it's giving you this code i would say try to install this file um but when you down when you ins like download the file to your computer, it'll do that. Um, it'll give you that one, two. It's gonna try and you know organize itself and uh, keep itself organized, so your PC knows which which file is what, and it helps you know which file is which. But when you download that file and it gives you that number, 
you have to first delete the other file because it's no more use to you and take the second file that's got that number on it and you want to uh, right click on it and then you want to click rename and uh, you want to take away the number and the space and just where it looks like this um, I already did all that stuff so um, SU41350-3 that will happen because of that little um, the little PS4 update one parentheses and then dot pub that's that's what's gonna fix this if you don't do it yourself it's gonna give you this error when you go to put the USB in the PS4 and uh, do the re um, do the installation it's gonna give you this error code because <clears throat> because you was trying to search for the file and the PS4 knows the file by name and it's gonna search for the file called this not these so when you put it in there and if you have the file just like this on the USB drive but in the files it says uh, this right here it's not gonna work and it's gonna give you the SU41353 so you gotta remember to change the uh, name of it just to this so that it won't give you that error code now in order to get this uh, file onto the um, onto the USB flash drive uh, first you want to plug it into your PC like such you'll see it pop down you see it pop down in the corner right here um, it may not be E but mine's E um, and then what you want to do is when you go to get this uh, file and like I showed you the one file that's right here you want to take this file and uh, you're gonna want to copy it and then once you get that file copied you want to bring it all the way to here and when you get to here on yours you'll most likely have a uh, blank screen like no files no nothing is on here um and before you do all of this stuff uh, you you're gonna want to go to here and you're gonna want to go to format and on this screen you're gonna want to go to file system and mine only pops up NTFS and XFAT, XFAT because I have over 32 gigs on this flash drive um, I was not smart enough to uh, research this before I went out and bought two 64 gigs but um, in order to get um, fat 23 which is what this is uh, formatted to right here fat tw fat 32 sorry um, in order to get it to this um, you guys if you have a 32 gig or less uh, USB drive you're it'll pop up this one for you and you're gonna want to click fat 32 and then just uh, and then uh, you're gonna want to just click start you know you don't need to change none of this stuff um, but for me for anybody that has a 64 gig or more you're gonna want to get this one um, software called a only partition uh, assistant then right here diskpart.com you go here and then you just get download freeware you don't really need to use this because it doesn't really do anything um, it's unneeded um, but you just click download freeware and then install it run and do all that stuff and then uh, once you get into it uh, you're gonna want to open it up and you'll see all of this stuff um, and it'll show you all your drives and uh, all that stuff all that goodness uh, this is my boot up drive uh, this is my um, SSD for my you know Windows um, where my GPU uh, Nvidia drivers are and all that stuff and then I have my uh, main hard drive and then here is the um, SD card 
this is what you're gonna look, want to look for. You're gonna want to find when you're in here. You're gonna want to go to um, format, and then this one gives you all kinds of uh, file types. So of course you're gonna want to click Fat32, and this is for the people that can't that don't have the option for theirs. Uh, so you can name it whatever you want. I named it this, so I knew what it was. Uh, whatever I plug it into, it'll tell me this. Um, but you want to click Fat32, and then you leave it on default, and then you click OK, and then you click Apply, and then it loads, and then it's done, and then it's formatted. After that, you're going to want to go back into here, and after you've done that, just check just in case, and uh, make sure it says Fat32, and then once you're in here, you're going to want to make a file named PS4. All you got to do is right click and then go to new and then click folder and then you want to name it ps4 and then in, and then go into this file and then click uh, right click and then make a new folder called update all caps make it all caps update and then in that file you're going to want to uh, like earlier when we copied the file you're going to want to go down and you're going to want to click paste and it'll paste it in here and don't forget about that number one or number two or whatever number it is. You want to delete that stuff out. Make sure it says just this. And then uh, once that's in here, all you gotta do is click uh, eject. And then ejecting just pretty much uh, allows everything to be safely uh, stored onto the USB, um, and you can take it out of your computer. What it looks like uh, at the end when you go to initialize it in the safe mode settings uh, it's gonna do this it's gonna ask you if you want to uh, wipe the system and initialize the console uh, click OK and then it's gonna give you this and then once it's done it should uh, reboot itself and uh, have a clean install of the newest update on your uh, on your PlayStation and then after it gets all the way to 100%, it's gonna say prepare to update the system software and then it'll give you the loading bar for uh, the update. Now that it finished uh, preparing the update and stuff, uh, it's gonna reboot or such. Like it, it's gonna put it into a uh, reboot mode and it's gonna restart the console and uh, put it in actual system software update to where it uh, starts the official update um, for the PS4. See now if you're unfortunate like me, it's still going to be stuck in the blue light mode and your screen's going to be stuck like this after seeing the Sony thing pop up and everything. Every, all the languages should have popped up by now and done like this, it's been a few minutes. That's just sitting there doing that. So I personally am most likely going to try and change out the hard drive and uh, see if and then try and reinstall everything like the do the same thing but like with a new hard drive and see if that fixes my console tweaking out but uh yeah anyways i hope this video helped you guys out and uh gave you some type of guidance to uh fixing your console um let me know if and what worked for you um and your console um and what didn't um, if you like the video, drop a like, uh, drop a sub. I don't always do, I don't really do tutorials like this, but, um, I couldn't really find a personal video that gave my type of issues in it, um, so I figured I'd make my own, um, but, uh, any support is, uh, loved by me. I'd appreciate it. Have a blessed day, guys. Peace. Peace.